Heyo, it's Abby and I have the Japan exclusive Azura Y2K set. Look at this set. I'm literally holding my light right now because the glare. But look at that. It's so iridescent and pretty. Here she is. There are 12 boxes in this set. As always, let's just open the first one up and then we'll take a look at the lineup. I can tell you guys though that this set is stunning. I'm genuinely surprised that Pop Mart did a Japan exclusive set. I, I, as far as I know, this is the first time that's happened. Oh, it's the Azura that's on the box. Oh my goodness, the colors are so pretty. Okay, she has a prop. Let me find it. Azura, very Y2K font. Here she is. She is the cutest thing ever. There are a lot of cute designs in this set, but I must say this is one of my favorites, so... I'm happy, but also sad we got this first because now I don't have it to look forward to. This one's called Metal Tulip. And the tulip just fell out of her hands. The little tab here is very loose. It's a little bit hard to see, but before we move on to box number two, look at this lineup. It's, it's MS Paint. And then there are the 12 figures. They're all one out of 12. I am excited for so many of these. And then there's a secret one, of course, which I would love to get. But yeah, let's keep opening. Anyway, as I was saying, I was really surprised that we got a Japan exclusive set. But I do remember when Spring Fantasy, the previous set, came out. They really promoted it. So I guess maybe Azura's popular here. I feel like Azura's popular everywhere. She's so cute. That was a spoiler open this up. This one is a lot more chunky. Oh, she's in a body bag. Maybe it's a little bit more delicate. Oh, 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 she's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at the colors and her bow. Looks like a jellyfish. Actually, is she supposed to be like a jellyfish? has summery vibes for sure. I was right, this one's called Cool Summer. Okay, let me put her on her stand and we'll take another look. Here she is. I love the stand so far in the text little acrylic plate. Um, do they all come with them? I guess we'll find out, but this one is also very 2000s. Like the font. I love it. It's so me and nostalgic, I guess. I love the bow. You guys know me and my obsession with plastic bows. Box number three. I think there's only really one, maybe two, in this set that I'm like, mm, not my color scheme. But the design on it is too good that I can't hate it. Oh, this is light. Oh, is this it? I see black shoes. Oh no, it's not. This is cute. Look at her chunky boots. Oh my goodness, she is adorable. Here are the accessories. Oh my goodness, the cassette tape. It says Azura Fantasy. Oh my goodness, whoops. Drop. Look at the stand. It's a music player. Like a CD player? Is it a cassette player? The stand and the prop really complete this figure. Look at her braids, her pigtails, black and purple, definitely my colors. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize there was so much detail in this set. Look at that cassette tape. I love it. Oh, and look at her zigzag part. So cute. Here's her card. She's called Millennial Girl. There's the back of the card, by the way. Super hollow. I absolutely love her. The theme for this set is so perfect. On point. That was a pretty good rip. Here we go. Ooh, I see blue hair. This might be the space one. Um, I love her. Look at her little horns, her goggles, her eyes, the little crossbody bag little tattoo on her knee, sparkles on her chest. Ooh, 
Her hair is glittery. Hold on, let me find the stands and stuff and then we'll take a closer look. Oh, disco ball. Oh my goodness, look, it's a record. The stand really completes the figures. I'm so glad I got a full set. She's adorable. I don't know, in, in the disco ball? I feel like this is, is this more like 90s? But she is very cute. Love the futuristic, retro futuristic vibe, I guess. I don't know if I've ever like noticed this before, but her ears are super detailed of all things. Very cute, and that just pops off. So we'll put that back on and put her on the shelf. Number five, yeah, we are on number five. Oh, this one's not quite as chunky. Oh, another body bag though. Oh, I think I know which one this is. I'm very excited for this one. If it's the one I'm thinking of. Oh, it's not, but she's still adorable. Look at that outfit. She's so fashionable. She's a little kitty with purple skin. Her eyes are stunning. She's called Neon Street. Oh, look, at, I think that sign's gonna look really cool too. Oh my goodness, wait, before I put the sign on, look at that bow. I think it's supposed to be like a neon sign. So it's like, you know, more like tubes, I guess. Here's the sign, by the way, before I hide it behind the figure. That is so cute. I would love a logo like that for my channel. Her little neon kitty ears. So cute. Here's the card for space travel. The art's very pretty. It looks very 3D. Alrighty, we are at the halfway point. I'm about ready to see the secret one, aren't you guys? I do wonder how many of these sets got produced if they are Japan exclusive. So like, ah, spoiler, don't look. Um, Cause the secret's one out of 144, but how many sets of 144 did they make? Am I mathing wrong? I might be. Okay, so you guys got a sneak peek. Look at her, very Harajuku girl, I feel like. Oh my goodness, it says Oyasumi Nasai, which means good night. There's a little moon, the stand. Oh, so this is like sleepwear. Look at those bows. Look at that hair, the glitter on her hair. Super textured. Her sock on one foot, I was gonna say socks, just one sock. Her bow, oh my goodness. This one is made for me. Very much Abby vibes and colors. I feel like Pop Mart sets are just getting better and better. Look at, she's holding the moon and then there's a sign behind her. This one might be my new favorite. I really love the colors. It's so pretty. Good night, candy. I don't know if this is supposed to lean back a little more, but look at, there are even sparkles on the moon. Like, how perfect is that? Look at all those cuties. Not gonna lie, I almost didn't get a full set because, well, AdSense hasn't been very kind to me the past few months, but this set is so worth it. But yeah, if you could give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment at the end letting me know which Azura you like the best, that would help me and let the algorithm gods know that people like my video. Next one, I see a lot of pink. Ooh, very pink. How come I don't remember this design? Probably because it's a little bit too bright of a pink for me, but I love the outfit. She's called Millennial Sweetie. Her hair is stunning. Look at it, it's kind of a black to ma maroon, is that what you would call it? Gradient? She has a bandana on, oh my goodness. I used to wear bandanas all the time. I had so many. I love them so much. I think this Azura is a city girl. It's crossing the street. I love it. Five more to go. We still have a bunch of cute ones to open. Whoops. That was not good.
Ooh. Oh, I remember this one. This is... What is this one called? Let me look. This one's called Liquid Metal. There was a figure kind of similar to this in the Spring Fantasy series, I feel like. Here's her stand. When they were first promoting this set, I saw this figure and I was like, oh wait, is it a recolor? But no, it was a whole set. And ended up being Japan exclusive. I was so excited. I feel like when it comes to Pop Mart, we don't really get like the cool stuff or the exclusives here. But this time we did. And it just happened to be one of my favorite IPs. Four more to go. I'm ready to see the secret one. Oh, we have green. But she is green and purple, which makes it a little more acceptable. Actually, this outfit is really cute. I love her pigtails. I love it when the artist gives Azura a different hairstyle. I love her, you know, iconic trademark look, but it's really cute. Love the pigtails. She even has X's in her eyes. This one's Rainy Night. And oh my goodness, is her stand a puddle with like the city lights reflecting? That's kind of cool. Okay, I love her. I don't care that she's green. Look at that. Is that supposed to be Tokyo Tower in the back? The puddle's so good, the gradient, and the water texture on it. This set is so well made. I love Azura. Three more to go. Let's put her up here. They look so good together. Who do we have left? We have no entry, which is probably my least favorite, but I'm excited to see it in person. Millennium Bug, I'm excited for that one. And Vaporwave, I think. on Azura. I think the battery on my light is dying. Is it getting darker? I see her feet. Oh, I think this is, what was it? Vapor wave? Very summer party rave vibes? I don't know. I'm not a party scene person. Look at how bright her hair is! Vaporwave! That gives me dance floor vibes. Here she is. I am loving the colors, even if they are a bit neon. She has the pigtails again, the cute gradient, holding some leaves. Looks like she's wearing a swimsuit. And here is her card. Vaporwave. Love the design. Simple, but yet detailed with like the textures and the gradients. Swap the batteries in my light so maybe you can see a little better now. It was getting darker and darker. Oh, I know which one this is. Sorry, I peeked. I didn't mean to, I just kind of saw it. Another body bag. I appreciate that they keep her very well protected. Look at those colors. Oh, she has a USB cable tail and some plastic covering her hand. Oh my goodness. I had not seen the detail on her. She has glitter, a gradient dress, purple fingers, 404 error on her leg. Oh, Azura earrings, chunky earrings. She's holding a arrow, like, you know, the mouse clicker, I guess. I love it. Oh no, which box did I just open? Here we go. Here are her parts, very pastel and pink. We have a, probably a computer screen, and then a window frame. This one's gonna be cool. Um, I'm obsessed. Look at, there's buttons on the side here, like a power button. And there's even stuff on the back here, like where the plug goes in. This is my favorite one. I thought it would be when I saw the lineup, but it definitely is. The colors, the design, I love it. She's perfect. She is called Millennium Bug. Oh, like a virus? 404 error? A glitch? Vanellope? Definitely number one. Not gonna lie, I would be overjoyed if this was the secret one and not that one because 
yeah, we'll see it in person and I'm sure I'm gonna love the design, but just the colors aren't me. That's probably the only one. I wasn't sure about the green and purple one, but she ended up being adorable. So, cross your fingers for the secret one. What even is the secret one? I feel like I looked at it. Oh. Did you guys see that? <laughs> I see green. Weren't that lucky. Here she is. I mean, this one is very cool. I love the buns, the goggles, and boots. Always yes to chunky boots. We'll get our accessories in a second, but this is no entry. Look at that sign. Let's pull them out. Okay, this one's gonna be really cool. Oh, and she has a mask too. Okay, I'm, whoa, okay. Escape. Alrighty, here she is. Please tell me this gas mask is magnetic. Wait, it's upside down. Hold on. Wait, no, it's not. Is it? It has to be magnetic, right? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. I love the design. Like I said, no doubt about loving the design. I get why it's green. I'm trying to think if it wasn't green, it probably would have been orange or yellow anyway, right? So I approve. And you need a little bit of green and orange to complete a rainbow, so we approve of this one. Also, her little buttons are adorable. I like the mask can come off too, though. That's that's fun. That was the last one. I am as zoomed out as I can get. You can see the boxes here. Gotta clean up that mess, but here is the lineup. They are stunning. They are absolutely stunning. I am so happy I got the full set. I love each and every one of them. Let me get the cards and we'll rank them. Are you ready to see my ranking? Obviously, number one, Millennium Bug. Number two, Goodnight Candy. Third place, Metal Tulip. Fourth place, Cool Summer. Fifth place, Space Travel. Sixth, Millennial Girl. Seventh, Vaporwave. Eighth, No Entry. I know, a bit of a surprise, but I really do like the design. Ninth, was it? Rainy Night. Tenth, Neon Street. 11th, Millennial Sweetie, and 12th, Liquid Metal. How about all of you? Which were your favorites? If you don't want to type out all 12, maybe comment below your top three, and we'll see who is most popular. Look at those cards. They're so shiny and pretty. I'm obsessed. So, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of the Japan exclusive Azura Y2K set. If you have any requests for future unboxing videos, let me know and I'll see what I can do. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!